string students, this is Mrs. Ryu. I hope you guys had a good weekend. So last week, um, I assigned the video with the instrument parts worksheet. So let's go over that together today as a review, okay? So this is my violin right here. So here is the, the scroll, and here the four black things right here. They're called the pegs, and please do not turn them because um, you're going to snap them if you're not too careful, okay? So these are the pegs. And then here inside is the peg box. And here, this part right here is called the fingerboard because we place our fingers there to play our instruments. And then here inside we have the strings. If you look closely right here, this part right here is the, the nut. And um, right here, the back portion, is the neck. This section right here is called the upper bout. Bottom here is the lower bout. And then in between right here is the C bout. And looking right here, it looks like the cursive F. So this is the F hole. And inside is the sound post. Right here is a bridge. And this is not glued on to the instrument, so you have to be careful. The strings are actually putting pressure on here to hold it in place, okay? And right here, we have the chin rest. And this is the tail piece. Right here is the end button. And for cellos, which is a lot bigger than our violin and viola, um, there's a little screw here. So if you unscrew it, um, there's a little pin, and that's called the end pin. And this right here, there's four of them here on my instrument. This is um, the fine tuners. It also helps us tune, but finely. So not as much as the pegs, but this helps us do that. And what else? Mm, I think that's about it. Oh, one more thing. So right here, this is our shoulder rest. And if you look at our uh, shoulder rest right here, this is actually in a shape kind of like this, almost like a sad face, right? Happy face, sad face. So what you're gonna do, this is our shoulder rest. We're going to place one part, the edge right here, you just hook it like this, and then you slide this portion up like this. Don't try to put them in at the same time because that will not work. You might break your instrument. So place one side first and then you just push the other side in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have many different positions in our strings class, but the first position that we're going to learn is the pizzicato position. So this right here, Shoulder rest right here. Place it on your left, your left shoulder. This please do not mirror me. So if I turn around like this, my left is this side. Okay? It should be like this. When I turn around, it would be the opposite of you, right? Okay, so do not mirror, okay? So this is our plank position here, but we're not going to use our bows yet. So remember, this is our bow, it's inside your case as well. But please don't take this out yet. We're not going to use them in fourth grade yet. Um, so now, once you have this violin in place, please make sure that your chin, not here, but the side of your chin is comfortably resting here. So try it out a little bit. Just try it out to see what's comfortable. Okay, of course, in the beginning, you just have to get used to it and find that spot. Okay, so do that. And then with your right hand, right hand here, you're going to go like this. So thumb and your index finger. You're going to place your thumb on the corner, the bottom part here, corner of your fingerboard like this, okay? And then with your index finger, we're going to pluck the, in, uh, the strings, okay? Please do not pluck this way here. You're plucking on the fingerboard area, okay? So thumb, corner here, index finger, curve a little bit like this, and then we're going to pluck. So. 
So try to pluck them and make sure with your left hand it's not holding on to the strings because if you hold on to the strings, we're not going to make a pretty sound, right? So make sure you're just holding on to your instrument like this, okay? But I'm not holding on to the strings. So just loosen your hand and pluck. But not too hard. Okay? My thumb is still on here, okay? So as you can see, there are four strings and there's the thinnest string right here. And then as you go further this way, the strings get a lot thicker, right? So playing position like this, find your spot. It's not this way. It's not here, but kind of in between, right? Like this. Thumb right here, curve, index finger. So the thinnest string here, this is E string, but we're not going to play that yet. Right here. This is the A string, and right here, this is a D string, this is a G string. So from your view, one is right here, two, three, and four. One is the thickest, four is the thinnest string. So we're going to uh, go to the second string, so one, two, Pluck that here four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is your D string. So can we say D while plucking it four times? So pluck, okay? D, 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 D. See, my thumb is still here. And the one next to it, the third string. One, two, three is the A string. So can we pluck that four times? One, two, three, four. Good. This is the A string. So let's plug D four times and A four times together. Okay, ready? D, two, three, four. Good. And then third string, A string. A, two, three, four. Very good. Okay. All right. So we're going to um, let's try a different number here so let's do d two times and then a two times and then repeat that to twice okay let's try it. one two one two back to d one two and then one two okay so i want you to turn to your book right here my book is a lot thicker but your book Look something like this, Essential Elements for Strings. This is our newest book. So if you have the red one like this, this is our older one. There are a lot of um, songs that are similar to this book, but it might have different names. So I'll try to tell you both, okay? So here, turn to number two. Okay, number two says, let's play open D. Let's play open D. And here it has all the note names uh, written on there and it all says D, right? So go to playing position, thumb right here on the corner of your fingerboard, index finger curve, but loosen your fingers, okay? Not too tight, okay? Don't tense up, okay? One, two. Thickest string, one, and then second one here. This is D. So let's look at the book and we're going to play it. And it looks like, and you should know this from your general music classes from the previous years, it looks like we have a quarter note or ta, right? So let's read it together. Um, this is ta, 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 rest, ta, 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 rest, ta, 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 rest, okay? So quarter note is ta, one B. Let's try playing it together, ready? Go. Don't touch the strings right here. Loosen it like this. I'm not touching the strings. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. And there's a repeat. 
repeat sign or is there not? Let me see in the red book. Okay. So in the red book, oh no, there's no repeat sign. All right. So practice this. Um, and then we're going to number three. It says, let's play open A. So remember, playing position, thumb on the fingerboard here, corner, one, two, three. This is the A string. Should sound something like this. Okay. Pluck by the fingerboard, not here. Here. Okay. Let's play A. Same pattern, just A. Ready? One, two, ready, go. A. A, A, rest, A, 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 rest, A, 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 rest, okay? So the plucking right here, when we say pluck, this is actually called pizzicato. Can we say that together? Pizzicato. Okay, good. So, here, bring with your instrument. This is, oops, ready position. I need to do this. Here we go. So I have this like this, ready position, and then playing position. So once we have playing position, thumb right here, one, two, D, one, two, three, A. Okay, so please practice number two, let's play open D. Number three, let's play open A. And then number four, two's a team, and try number five as well at Pierre's door, okay? They're all just playing D and A, so please practice those and have fun. Good luck.